Well, hi, Dad. Hello, Mindy. How hi. are you? Doing great. Happy hey. Wine and Cheese wine Wednesday. Wine and Cheese Wednesday. Yay. Love our Wednesdays. Best day of the week. Yes, they are. <laughs> yeah, and it's hump day. It so, is, yes. I mean, it's a great day. So we've got some fun things for you today. So mm -hmm. these are brought to you by Trader Joe's, mm -hmm. one of my all-time favorite places. Um, but they've got super fun wine and cheeses. So I'm going to be honest with you. I picked out this wine today because of the I name and because it. of the bottle. So it's... <laughs> I love it. <laughs> you, sometimes you just got to try fun things and you never know. And the price point, I mean, it was, I'm embarrassed to say, but it was $6. But nice. hey, my favorite yeah. wine from Trader Joe's is $5.99. Yes. Sparkling white. Yes. Love it. Have it in my fridge all the time. So anyway, this is the Delicious Monster. And it I is from... The uh, Delicious Monster. Yes. <laughs> it's from the McGregor um, Winery in yes. South Africa. So we haven't tried any wines from South Africa, no, so I thought, not. why not? Mm -hmm. Wine Wednesday, why For not? Sure. Yeah, yeah. So um, this says it will, and you can see if this is true or not, mm -hmm. but it says let let your taste buds enjoy the lemon, honey, mm -hmm. grapefruit, pear, and green apple notes. That sounds yeah. like a burst in your mouth. Absolutely. Um, mm -hmm. And again, it's sourced from McGregor Wineries in South Africa, and Trader Joe's happens to carry it. So I thought, why not? Cheers. How do you, what do you think? It's delicious. I will say this. I, it's not a, well, it's not a wine that I could just sit and sip on. I oh, could probably not have one. Pounder. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I could maybe have a one, maybe two um, glasses, but it it's very good though. Yeah. It's bright. It's yeah, but it's definitely a little bit more on the sweeter side. It and, is. Yeah. If you like yeah. sweet wines, I'm definitely tasting like the green apple Yeah. yeah and I'm yeah. also tasting the pear. Um, yeah. I, I think it's nice. I think that I definitely wouldn't have like multiple yeah. glasses of this, but mm -hmm. I do think it's really like on a hot it's summer fun. day. It yeah, might yeah. be a it fun great, wine. It has a great flavor. And I think this would be a fun wine to make a, um, a sangria with, mm. a, a white wine sangria with just really citrusy fruits. I think would mm -hmm. really bring out some of those other notes that we were talking about. Yeah. That was tasty. Sure. Thank yeah, you. Thank, thank you. you. Well, right. you know. Sometimes so those labels grab you. Yeah. No, it's so fun. I'm glad you did that. The delicious monster. <laughs> You're a delicious monster. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Yeah. So this one, I'm so excited that she did this because Minnie's the one that introduced this to me. This is um, a mascarpone that they um, that she picked up from Trader Joe's as well, right? Um, so if you don't know, it's an Italian cream cheese. That's really what it comes down to. But... Um, it's like the most amazing cream cheese you've it ever is. had. It's so buttery, but it's light. It's not over the top. Um, it, it's delicious. I'm actually thinking I might start using that for my carrot cake um, oh. uh, frosting yes. instead of regular cream cheese. Just gonna see because it just has such a creamy anyway. Whipped so butter. yes, yeah, oh, so delicious. So this is um, it's used in a lot of northern Italian dishes, mm -hmm. and, and the reason why it's just super versatile. It pairs with sweet and savory across mm -hmm. the board. In this case, we paired it with, um, and this is again Minnie's amazing idea with this hot honey, also from Trader Joe's. Yeah. It's just so delicious. It has that buttery kind of taste to it with the um, sweetness and then a little bit of the spice. It, it, I oh. think you just can't go wrong um, yeah. with it. I, I think the only um, thing that I would say, um, not negative, but constructive is um, be wary. Make it in small batches <laughs> because I think you're gonna find yourself mm. with the bowl in your lap mm. dig, digging it in. Yeah. And so, oh, ma'am. Isn't it? Oh, that sweet heard. with the spicy honey. Mm -hmm. I could eat this all for day. dinner. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I mean, literally just have this. That was absolutely delicious. It's so good. Yeah. All right, so Dad, mm. tell me, um, as you know, so we come in on here every Wednesday for Wine and Cheese Wednesday, but we like to obviously talk a little bit about real estate and lending. Again, I am Mindy Hay with Union Home Mortgage. And I'm Daphne Tappert with PPG. Yeah, so tell me a little bit, what mm -hmm. what's the inventory mm -hmm. like out yeah. there? I know we were just talking about this a little bit, so... So it is, it is, uh, you know, the inventory is a little bit less. I mean, we, we just don't have that many and homes are sitting on the market for a little bit longer, about two months, two and a half, depends on what the mm -hmm. area is. And we talked a little bit about the multiple offer situation with, that we saw a few years ago. I feel like we all, we're still seeing that in some markets and depends on the type of mm -hmm. house, but we really have so much pent up demand. Like yes. there's so many buyers that are looking to get something as Absolutely. these rates are going down, mm -hmm. more people are going to flood the market. So if you're looking now, this is the time to do it. Yeah. If you're not thinking you're looking right now, I would say still 
connect with Mindy, get a hold of her so that she can help you figure out what your financial strength looks like. She will have a product that will be just perfect for you so that you're able to know what you have and know what kind of home you can go out there. And then after that, give me a call. I'd love to show it to you. Thanks guys. Mm -hmm. Happy Wednesday. Cheers. Happy Wednesday. Cheers.